Oxound is based in Helsinki, Finland, and it was founded in 2016 after several years of research on a set of signal processing techniques that would later become the plugin Sooth. Um, the technology behind Sooth allows for quite arbitrary modifications of an audio signal's frequency content with fairly minimal amount of artifacts. And uh, Sooth tracks resonances in audio material and brings them down while retaining the original timbre of the audio signal. The set of techniques behind Sooth were then adapted to Transients for a second plugin which is called Spiff and uh, Spiff tracks and modifies the transient information of the signal. And the algorithms for both of these plugins have been created and refined by ear. Everyone at OX Sound has a background in music. Olli as a recording and mixing engineer, Tommy as a live sound engineer, and me as a songwriter producer. It's been really important for us not to distance ourselves or our plugins from the creative process. And that's why we set up our offices within this large studio complex called Sonic Pump Studios. So that we could be surrounded by producers and engineers and the music that they're making. Developing audio processing tools has made it very apparent that a good listening is crucial in order to make the right calls. And when developing the tools, we routinely tweak hundreds of hard-coded parameters and essentially craft the processing to match the human hearing. So we are the guinea pigs and we match the processing to our hearing. Headphones go a long way, but I feel that nothing really quite compares to the picture a really good loudspeaker listening gives, especially when tweaking the way an algorithm affects stereo imaging or the very low frequencies. At the time, it became possible to start considering upgrading our listening setup at OX Sound. Uh, I had an Amphion 118 pair that I really like, especially the stereo imaging. And um, I had the chance to hear the prototypes for the Amphion's next new flagship model or system, which was the Base 225s. And I, I really like the way the, the bottom end of those integrates with the tops. So um, basically, I set out to construct a room around the, this new Amphion setup. And the, the room that we're working in now is a Italian designed and made boxy room, uh, which is basically a uh, mastering grade floating um, room in a room sort of construction. And it's very quiet and uh, it has a very controlled decay time across all frequencies, so it makes it a lot easier to, to tell what we're doing and what we're hearing. One thing that I really like about these speakers is that they have accurate time domain response. When combined with a great room like this one, they can really reveal those small but significant differences when, for example, comparing the transient response of different filter designs. Lately, we have been fine-tuning our filter shapes and investigating how small differences in amplitude response affect the perceived ringing of the filter. Software analysis is an important part of our development process, but the final tweaks to our plugins are always made by ear, so we really need to have a listening environment we can trust. My office here looks a lot like a typical producer room. I try to approach our plugins as a songwriter and producer, meaning the technical stuff can't get in the way of the creative process. Now, the same goes for my listening. I tried a bunch of different speakers that all had different customization options and room for adjustment. Then I tried the 118s and everything fell into place. I'm also a proud owner of the new Flexbase 25 and the Flexamp. Having access to a detailed low end in a small room like this is great. We spend a lot of time listening to music in this room. It really lets us dive into the mixes and analyze how a certain sound or a balance was achieved. This in turn lets us better understand the challenges that a mixing engineer might be facing when working with today's tools and workflows. And with this understanding, we can imagine and design new tools. 